evening guys this is Sumaya welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video we'll be learning about 3d modeling of the bathroom it is our next episode in the series of residential project in our previous episodes we have discussed about bedroom 3d modeling and lighting if you're new to my youtube channel and you haven't seen that tutorial yet i'll share the link in the description please watch this tutorial it's the part of our residential project today we'll be discussing step by step the 3d modeling of a bathroom it may look simple but it's little trickier when it comes to the bathroom 3d modeling we're going to study each part of it now let's get started we'll import our plan always the first step is study the layout so you can plan accordingly now first step let's import this autocad plan set the origin select units it's in centimeters but i will cross check again Correct, it's in centimeters. Finish. Let's study the layout. This is the entrance for the bathroom. As I enter here, I have two wash basin and here mirrors, obviously, because it's a wash basin. Then towards the right hand side, I have a shower area. Then towards the other side, I have toilet. It's a simple layout. To make it simple and easy to understand, I will divide the construction of this 3D model into steps. Our first step is constructing the walls. Okay, for that we'll go to rooms and draw new room. If you're choosing draw new room, select the innermost wall and draw it. We'll start from your first point, second point and trace all the corners of the bathroom. Close polygon and your room is ready. But you know my outer wall is not matching the CAD drawing. So I'm going to adjust it. To adjust the thickness of the wall, you can just select the wall and drag it to the position where it is placed in the AutoCAD. Done. Walls is constructed. Let's check in the 3D model. Correct. Let's give the story height as a standard 3 meters. Ceiling levels we will adjust it later fine this is done okay once this is done give some random textures to the wall you can go to for the same white you can just uh, increase it and replace the material this is because this is a very important point every time you place some model or you you know even place some column give some random texture at the first because what happens is if you forget to give the texture and later you apply the texture or replace the texture it's going to be like for all the objects same texture gets applied so better to be on safer side after making each model just apply the texture it's super easy okay we are done with this step now go to the site and draw a rectangular floor element floor element just draw outside the room a little bigger from the size of the room and it's done we are done go to the story mode okay this was your first step first step draw the room second step is draw whatever the columns and details architectural details you have in the bathroom. draw that next now in this bathroom what are those details i have a column here okay because this is extended to the wash basin and then i have this detail Obviously, it's also a column with some niche detail here for cove lighting. For this, I'm going to use columns. Make sure you use column room element itself. Do not draw this detail with extrusion volume. What happens is, yes, you can draw it even in the extrusion volume too. But after you place lights and run the calculation, there may be a spillover of light from those objects. We don't need that effect. We want it to be proper, perfect. For that we will use room elements. Since this is a simple rectangular object, I'm going to use draw rectangular room element. Place first point here, second point here and extend it. That's it. Fine. Let's go to the 3D model and check. This is your column. Create color material and give some random texture to it. Done. Now we are going to draw this one use the same room elements but this time make sure it is in 
rectangular room element then select draw polygonal room element and trace out this part close polygon perfect now apply some texture for this too replace material done so we have finished our second step we have finished placing the columns and other architectural detail of this bathroom third step is place apertures be it windows or doors draw those go to the apertures i have a door here i will select the standard door draw new building opening first point second point and you're done give some texture to it for the same white color i'm going to just increase it and replace the material done we have finished the third step okay now fourth step is whatever the objects you can make in the make by using the objects of your dialogues do that one okay like for example i can make this glass door in the extrusion volume next i can make this you know the storage space below wash basin i can make it using extrusion volume those two i can do okay so my next step is that itself first i will make this part a glass door i will use a simple cube for it place individual object and then scale it give the height i'll make it 2.8 meters and then give some texture for this too done save it now next i have this part i don't have any elevation details now but if you have the elevation details make sure you take the heights of the wash basin of the storage below from the elevation drawing itself let's make this one again i'm going to use the same furniture object cube place individual object scale it go to the 3d model i will decrease its height to 0.05 and let it be at the height of 0.2 meters okay this is a rack for you know the bath towels and all let me give some again some random texture to this okay then after this i need some storage space here that too i'm going to make using the same cube place individual object this time let it be at the height of 0.3 or 0.4 i think it can even be at 0.5 and the size its height would be 0.45 seems good i need this storage space to be hollow inside for that i'm going to mm, copy another cube of same dimension control c control v i'm going to reduce its dimensions go to the side views to get proper visualization just make it little front so that i can perform the boolean operation of subtraction now select both the cubes go to boolean operations subtract your difference is the one which you have here in the pink color subtract and you have a nice storage space nice i'll give some texture to it replace material done perfect and this one control c control v i'm going to place it above this fine that's nice so we have 
made even the storage space here i need two mirrors because i have two wash basins either i can have one single mirror or i can have two mirrors um what do you say what can we make shall we make two mirrors i think it's better for mirrors too we are going to use the same cube place object scale it bringing to the top give it height as proper copy paste because we need another mirror here place it exactly where your wash basin is perfect let's give another random texture for this replace material done i think here i need some tile or something i will use the same control c control v proper now done so we have finished constructing all the 3d model now let's import the remaining 3d objects so how many objects i would be importing i will be importing the wash basin the toilet and the shower head so i need only three 3d models here i have already downloaded and kept the 3d models i have got it from the sketchup if you want to find the 3d models go to 3d warehouse go to 3d warehouse from this site you can easily search for the 3d models you are looking for and download and use it in your dialogs if you want to know more about how to import the sketchup 3d models you can check out my previous tutorial on this topic i have a separate video for this i will share the links in the description of this videos now coming back to our dialogs so the first thing i will be importing is the wash basin let's import the wash basin file import furniture file rotate it and place it as per the placement in the autocad file scale it if required copy the same at the other side to control c control v done we have finished placing the first 3d object wash basin similarly we are going to place toilet and the shower head done we have imported all the objects of the bathroom let me add some accessories here like some bottles or walls properly position at the height of this itself correct this is done now you have finished placing all the objects now your next step is draw any niches if you have i don't have the elevation drawing so i don't know where the niches are there but what if you have the niches in your drawing right of course you'll be having niches in the bathroom so let's make niches where will we make it we'll make it one in the shower area here and we'll make it one here okay for that first step is if you have the elevation detail measure the height of the niche okay like for example here is the niche i need so i will the same steps you need to follow even you have when you have elevations okay say so this is the width of my niche i have niche from here to the last end we'll leave the column i have this full niche now 
what is the height of this niche let me assume that it's up to 0.25 meters no, it's too small 0.3 i think that is that is correct and it will be at the height of say 1.2 meters okay so here i need niche for reference i have drawn this cube at the same level i'm going to make a cutout for that i'm going to use the cutout tools draw rectangular cutout place the first point you know place it properly like this place the first point second point a rough sketch okay and then go to the elevations make your point at the level of the extrusion volume of a cube you know so that the dimensions are correct done it's correct we'll just move this cube for now bring it outside it's correct but i don't want this opening i just want a cut out in the wall for that i'm going to limit the cutting depth i'll make it the cutting depth to be let's measure how thick it is it is 0.1 meter itself so i will make it somewhere around 0 0.095 meters now you have a perfect niche here nice okay let's do it at the other side too i want to make the niche over here so i will just move it till the end and uh, what is the length of this it's 0.9 meters say the niche is around uh, 0.85 meters place it properly seems good now here too your first step is go to the cutout tools draw rectangular cutout just draw across those cube don't worry if it is not exactly this correct rectangle even if it is tilted you can go to the side views and place the points accurately at the extrusion volume you have kept this is fine we'll delete this cube now i have the opening here too let's measure its thickness it's 0.15 so let me make the cutout to be 0.13 okay now i have nice niche over here and a nice niche over here and uh, you can keep some objects accessories even in the niches let me import one small plant in this niche done that is nice nice plant now we have finished now we need to draw the ceilings for ceiling it's easy just insert ceiling into the room and uh, height of the ceiling generally in the bathrooms we have low level ceilings so let me give it as 2.7 meters of the ceiling height that's correct let's say for example here i need to place a strip light okay so what i'll do is i'll just extend the ceiling towards here in the autocad plan okay now you have this opening in the ceiling here for cove light make sure the ceiling thickness is proper fine done now our last step is textures but this is the most important step because we are going to discuss about so many materials in detail you may receive a 3d reference image from your consultant interior designer or the architect or you can get any mood boards like this okay so we are going to you make use of this mood board i'm going to use the same materials mentioned here and uh, apply the textures okay let's study the mood board I have a clear glass, I, has, I have micro cement, then I have a walnut, 
all my accessories are of brass finish then i have a white porcelain so what i do is i will use this for walls i will use this for floor and yes of course accessories is brass and color okay gray marble are the tiles and white porcelain is the bathtub wash basin whatever the other details are there okay let's start with walls for walls i will be using gray marble tiles you can directly go and search in google for gray marble tiles texture and you can use the one which you feel it's appropriate download it okay i have downloaded this texture it looks nice let's import it create texture material select the material i will give the scaling for the texture as 1.5 and 1.5 because one will be too small for the tiles and uh, that it be metallic itself and the reflection factor i will give it as say some 57 replace the material that looks perfect right nice now let's go to our mood board again for floor let's use micro cement again go to the google and type micro cement texture this one looks similar check the mood board and oh, it's a little darker but yeah this is fine you can use this one or oh, this is fine save this image go to your dialogues texture create texture material again let me give the scaling here to as 1.5 1.5 reflection factor let me keep it 20 and reflective coating you know it is little shinier i guess so let me keep it some 10 reflective coating and apply material it's nice okay same thing i'm going to apply for these two pieces of the furniture fine done i have used the second texture of my mode board next i have this wood walnut i can use it for this columns i will apply the same texture for this too fine done perfect so we have used the third texture then i have glass which is clear glass okay this is mirror and for the shower i have again a glass here first one what shall we discuss let's make mirrors first okay pick this material make it a darker one and replace material because uh, you know the sides will be visible that's the reason i took a random color and made it darker now go to the catalogs color catalog and choose white you can use signal white and from painted make it transparent and increase the reflection factor to 90 don't make any changes here and apply material done this is your mirror though here you can't see it but uh, after calculation and rendering you can see the correct mirror effect next even this glass door is transparent okay but it's not fully 100 percent transparent for that what i'm going to do is degree of transmission let me keep it 30 percent you can see and the color of this should be something black so let me make it this one with a reflection factor of 10 and replace material looks good you can even decrease the reflection factor furthermore if you want it more darker okay replace material done that is done fine we have finished glasses 
let's go to the mood board again left out is the porcelain and the accessories for porcelain choose the material make it fully white reflective coating don't give it too much let's make it some reflective coating as 15 and this one let it be 90 replace material this one to just reduce the reflective coating 20 is fine and replace the material done so i have finished the accessories oh, we have this one left over. we'll make it this one to white pick the material of the same wash basins and uh, reflective coating make it 10 and reflection factor as 80 and replace material okay if you're new to dialogues you might be wondering what i'm saying reflection factor and reflection reflective coating and so i will explain you in some basic terms reflection factor is how much light it will be reflecting the material okay if you want to make it too dark if the material is too dark make it less you can see the material it is now gray if you want to make it something white give more reflection factor now it is white and then coming to reflective coating the more glossiness you need the more you need to give the reflective coating now see for 90 you can see the effect here it is very shiny now decrease it you can see it is you can see the difference right similarly you have properties different material type here metallic painted and transparent depending on the material you have you can select this one fine done now only left out part in the mode board is for accessories so here we have brass finish to get the exact realistic brass finish what you need to do is watch the steps carefully go to the color catalog go to the yellow section of the colors and from here choose lemon yellow double click select the texture now you have this yellow it is painted change it to metallic don't make any changes in the reflection factor only the reflective coating increase it you can make it till 92 see you have this nice texture replace the material to the components where you need this brass finish let me replace it even to the taps and then even to this shower head that's nice so we have finished placing texture to everything the only left out is the doors for the doors you can go for material material catalog doors and select this door apply material done we have finished placing all the textures and our bathroom looks nice i didn't apply any texture to the ceiling let it be standard itself unless you have any detail from the interior designer for the ceiling done this is nice but i need to check the render too let me place some skylight calculation is completed and we have nice view here so let's set this view and generate one render increase resolution i'm keeping it highest resolution because i want to check all the textures i have placed is it proper or not so start ray tracing done render is completed you can see the render perfect wash basins perfect brass finish of the accessories too nice let's do few more renders
saved all the images let's check all the renders one by one and you can see the first render here nice the mirror is proper because you can see all the materials in the mirror nice brass finish you can zoom in that's nice nice porcelain wash basins nice detail let's check another render perfect I love the gold brass finish this looks more realistic isn't it I think I made the taps too small but that's good nice render overall nice there's the other render mirror perfect you can see the shower head in the mirror over here nice nice detail and this is our next render wherein we gave a glass texture to the shower door you can make it more darker too decrease the decrease the degree of transmission we gave it 30 you can decrease it to maybe even 10 or 20 you can see the shower head too nice finish nice this too nice overall nice renders so guys this is it in this video i'll be sharing the link to download all the 3d models and the textures i used in this tutorial i will also be sharing you the autocad plan of this bathroom so that you can practice until we have next episode on the same series of bathroom in the next part we'll be discussing about lighting design techniques for the bathroom i hope the tutorial was helpful with the step-by-step -step detail on construction part of this bathroom if you like this video hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you